What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a gaming review of Moto Razer 5G smartphone by playing few of the most high end heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting. So talking about the hardware, the device is pretty capable of playing the new high end titles as we have seen in the gaming review of other smartphones running on the same hardware Snapdragon 765G processor but I just wanted to have the experience of playing these games on a foldable smartphone for two reasons. The first thing is that the weight of the device is not proportionate. So as you can see that the bottom part is a bit heavy, bit thicker, bit bulkier. This part is narrower so the weight distribution is not equal plus this is a foldable smartphone. So even though it looks pretty flat from this angle it's not totally flat and if you move your finger here in this part in the center you can feel the crease even though it's pretty much invisible especially when the lights are on. So I just wanted to see how good is the gaming experience is going to be when we play these high end heavy graphics game on a foldable smartphone like Moto Razer 5G. So let's just start our test and let's see how good it's going to be. So right now the battery percentage is 71 and these are the games we got here on our Motorola Razer 5G. So first of all, let's start with the Call of Duty. So here in the game setting of Call of Duty Mobile, you can see the graphics quality is selected as medium and frame rate as high. I can select the high graphics quality. I can also go very high. If I select max for FPS, then the graphics quality is moving to high. So let's select very high for frame rate and graphics quality both. And let's play the game a bit. Thanks to the guy next to me. So the graphics quality is really nice, gameplay is quite a smooth. And there is no frame drops or lagging as well. Because of the uh, screen aspect ratio, I'm facing a bit of issue. It's not issue, it's just that I'm not used to of this screen aspect ratio. So the position of uh, the buttons and everything, it's a bit stressed as you can see. And because of that, I'm facing slight issue in playing the game, getting killed very quickly. And 
and here we lose. But the gameplay was quite smooth as I said. I faced some difficulty in playing the game uh, because of the aspect ratio. So the keys and everything they are a bit straight so I was facing a bit of issue. Not too much and the device is quite warm. This part is very hot right now. It's really hot. It's I faced this issue while using the camera as well but right now it's it's too hot and another thing is that this part here at the bottom uh, it was causing me a bit of trouble as well because uh, when I was moving my thumb here sometimes I felt like it, it was stopping the movement of my thumb let's play some other game and let's see how good it's going to be so let's close all of them let's play Asphalt 9 so here in the game setting of Asphalt 9 you can see we have selected the high graphics quality and let's play the game a bit and let's see how nice it's going to be so my palm is also covering the speaker here that reducing the volume coming out of the speaker not too much but still a bit noticeable there was a frame drop So now the speaker is totally covered with my palm. Boom. So the graphics quality is really nice. So the graphics quality was great. One major frame drop happened once. It was stuck like for half second or something. Other than that, gameplay was mostly smooth and as I said the graphics quality was good and this time actually this chin here, it actually helped me in controlling uh, the game because uh, it was providing me a nice grip like a controller. So this was good but the very same thing caused me issue while playing Call of Duty Mobile. So let's play PUBG Mobile now and let's see whether we are going to face any issue or it's going to be quite smooth as well. And I would like to mention once again that the device is really warm. This part, this part is totally okay, but this part is warm. I guess this is where the battery is. And talking about the battery, the battery percentage is at 68. We are playing all of these games since like 12 minutes. So it's not that bad. Let's play PUBG Mobile and let's see how nice it's going to be now. So here in the graphics setting of PUBG Mobile, by default, SD graphics quality and high frame rate is selected. If I go to balanced, then ultra FPS is available as well. But on HD, you can go only up to high frame rate and HDR onwards are not available. So this is the maximum possible graphic setting for PUBG Mobile on Motorola Razer 5G. So the graphics quality is just impressive. Have a look. On the detail we are getting on the character, the costume, the trees, the reflection of the light on the body when the character is moving, it's so good. Really nice. And it's quite a smooth hair as well. It's very smooth actually. If you see how smoothly camera angle is changing when I'm moving my thumb here on the screen. And one thing that I mentioned in the beginning that since there is crease in the middle of the screen, I cannot feel it much. Uh, it, it's, it's totally fine. Like it's not causing any uh, different kind of feeling while moving my finger on the screen that can cause any negative effect on my gameplay. It's just that the uh, it's pretty wide. It's a stress. You can see that the screen is coming till this end. So uh, the options and everything will be here as well. So, and I, I guess just like the Call of Duty Mobile, when I'm going to move my thumb in this part, then this uh, chin, the thick chin here, you can see it's pretty high. 
it will cause me uh, some trouble but that's what I'm guessing The gameplay is quite smooth here. So I'm not so good in PUBG Mobile, so you have to bear with me a bit while I try to play this game here. So everything seems nice and smooth here while playing PUBG Mobile on Motorola Razer 5G. It's just as you can see like once again uh, the icons are a bit smaller because the device is narrower it's a stretch so sometimes I need to tap once or twice because I'm just not getting the exact idea where to tap. No one is there. So if you are a PUBG player, you should be getting the idea that how smooth is the gameplay. It's quite nice, especially the graphics quality is so good. No frame drops or lagging happened. And also because since less action is happening on the screen right now compared to Call of Duty Mobile, uh, I'm facing less issue we can say. But yes, the positioning of the buttons and everything, they are slightly modified or changed, we can say, compared to the regular smartphones that we use, usually to play games, either 16 is to 9 or 18 is to 9 aspect ratio. But here, it's 21 is to 9, I guess, so. But the graphics quality is so nice. Let me show you one more time. You can see how much detail we are getting, and it's very smooth. Even though we are not using the 
ultra fps it's very smooth here as you can see here it's so good the only thing is the bottom part of the device is very warm the palm is covering the speaker sometimes here other than that it feels so nice for sure So I'm just going to leave it here and let's have a look on the battery status because the overall gameplay is very smooth as I said like uh, the hardware is of course capable of playing all of these high end games there was just one frame drop once in Asphalt 9 other than that everything is nice and smooth while playing Call of Duty Mobile I faced lots of issues because I was facing a bit issue while moving my thumb at the bottom of the a screen here and the position of the keys were slightly elongated as well so after playing all of these games for like 22 minutes the battery percentage moved from 71 to 64 7 percent decrease not that bad uh, not great as well we can say because this device comes with pretty small battery compared to other smartphones that we got in the market but again as i mentioned the bottom part is very hot this is where the battery is it's really hot right now but the gaming experience was overall quite nice uh, while playing Sport 9 it was actually better because i was getting a solid grip because of this thick chin hair but especially for the call of duty mobile i was not able to play a game that nice as i play on other smartphones for PUBG Mobile, it was quite nice overall. So that's all for now, friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. And I will see you guys next time in an another video. Have a nice day.